Welcome to a new Pandora video. I'm going to show you a bit more of the uh, operating system today. First, let's do the most important things, insert an SD card. Wait a few seconds and then magically all your games will appear either on the desktop, my favorites are on the desktop as can be seen here, and the rest is in the games menu, for example, Aleph 1, C-Docs, um, Wise, whatever you want. So, how does this work? Let's just take a look onto our SD card. Um, on our SD card is a Pandora directory. Inside that directory are different directories. Desktop and menu are the most important ones for us today. Inside the desktop there are four PND files and those are exactly those four that uh, appear on the desktop. So, as you can see, the PND discovery works fine. If I take a look into the menu, there are the rest of the games that appeared on the menu. So, if you want to install a game, simply download, put on the SD card and, well, there you go, they automatically are discovered. So, let's say you don't like that XFC is a nice, nice desktop, for, uh, in my opinion, but you, do, you want it quick. So, you can go to Setup a System and you can select change the default guy and then it will fir first ask if you want the auto login yes i want that and after that you can choose your desktop launcher xfce the p menu or the ubuntu netbook launcher you can select anything you want press ok and on the next boot you will boot by default into the uh, different guy so what if you want to switch on the go while not being uh, uh, without rebooting you can simply switch guy, then select, for example, Netbook Launcher, click on OK, and then the currently running session will end, and a new session with the newly selected launcher will appear. This is the um, Ubuntu Desktop la Netbook Launcher, for example. It's finger friendly, you can scroll around using your finger. You can go into games, of course, all those games I have here appear uh, in the menu too. Okay, load scum VM, that's for example here. So you can move around either using the uh, stick or you can do the same thing with your finger. Here's the scroll bar, go around here. So whatever you want. Let's go to the system tools menu. There's again our um, switch guy. So we go to onto switch guy and select we want p menu. So what's happening? Session will be closed, p menu is starting. Here all the emulators appear. I can switch with LR to the games, then I see the games, misc stuff, media, favorites and so on. So you can select whatever you want and if you want to go back to um, XFC, just press the Pandora button and it will instantly quit and reload your XFC desktop. So it's up to you. Select your default launcher, whatever you like best, or switch while it's running. Okay, I'd love to show you the Amiga emulator, but that's uh, just a quick port yet, and it runs slow. You need Framescape 4 to play it, but um, it doesn't have any Cyclone ARM core inside it. It's, it's, it's the original URE, and well, that's known to be very resource hungry. So let's play a bit more Atari. Stun Car Racer, one of the coolest games here. Uh, my name, sure. It's Evil Dragon, of course. Keyboard works, <laughs> really fun. Practice, well, Tracks in Division 2. I'm not really good at this game, actually, but um, let's have some fun. Okay, time to do some roller coasting. Woohoo! Oh! 
Ouch. Okay, um, that's enough. Let's switch to the next game. Um, what do I have? Um, let's see, maybe. Oh, what about Speedball? Let's go to Speedball. Okay. I haven't played it for a long time and I usually played Speedball 2. 